let's use the systems manager parameter store and for this I'm just going to type parameter and it takes me directly to systems manager. You could also type systems manager to find the UI. So within systems manager now to find the parameter store on the left hand side you have to scroll all the way down and you'll find it right here second to last parameter store. So the parameter store is for secrets and configuration data management and this is a way to centralize all these parameters within your AWS accounts, which is great. So here you can see how it works. You create a new parameter, then you specify the parameter type and value and you reference that parameter from within your command on your code, which is exactly what we're going to do. So for this, to get started, click on create parameter. So here I'll create a parameter called my app and it's in the dev environment and the first one is the database URL. And so I'll say database URL for my app in development. Okay. Now here we can have three type of uh, types. We can have a string and we can put whatever characters we want. String list, you have a list of strings using commas or secure string when it's encrypted. Let's go with string first. And so for example, here uh, is a database URL. So you can put whatever you want, but it has to be 4,096 characters. So let's go ahead and say, um, dev dot database dot stefan the teacher dot com and it's just something very random and maybe i'll add the port 3306 so it's just whatever you want it to be okay so here's just a random url for me dev dot database dot stefan the teacher dot com 3306 i'll go ahead and create that parameter and so here the create parameter request succeeded and we have our first parameter turns out that we can see the description, the type, and also the version. So if we ever modify this parameter, we'll get a last modified date that will be new and the last modified user that will be tracked as well. So we can know who modified what. If I click on this, again, you get a summary. You can see the history of the values and you can see the tags. And we have our DB URL. So what I want to do is maybe create another parameter. So I'll create a parameter and this time I'll call it DB password for our app database. And so I'll just say database password for my app in development. And here I have a secure string. So this time we're going to encrypt our secret. And so we'll use KMS for encrypting. We can use um, our current account or another account for the KMS key source. We'll use our current account. And we can use the AWS provided key, okay? But we also can use the key we've created from before. So I've created a tutorial KMS key from before. And so we can just use that one as well. Uh, it's whatever you prefer based on how you want to manage your security. So I'll use the my tutorial and here's the value. And I'll say this is the dev password. And we don't see it because it's a secret value and this will be encrypted. So I'll create the parameter. And now we see that we have a new parameter right here called dev db password. It's a secure string now. So that means it's encrypted. And the key ID is alias slash tutorial and the version is one. If I click on it, we can see that the value is hidden, but I can click on show and this will decrypt the value for me on the fly and say, this is the dev password. So this is pretty cool now because what we can do is definitely uh, copy these. And so we're going to do it again, but this time in prod. So let's go ahead and create parameters. I'll create this in prod. So I'll just change a bit the path and I'll say database URL, uh, URL for my app in prod and I'll just be quick prod.database.stefantheteacher.com port 3306 I'll create it and I'll just create one last parameter and we're going to create the db password in prod and the description is going to be in production and secure string I'll use my same tutorial value and here I'll say prod password okay I'll create the parameter. So now we have four parameters and we want to be able to access them. So what we can do is access them, for example, using the CLI first. So we are going to use the CLI to get the parameters. So it's called get parameters and you have to provide a names. And for this, we have to provide the names of the parameters we want. So for me, I'll just say, I want my DB URL and my DB password and press enter. And now we get back from the API two results. We get the DB password back and the DB URL. So let's look at the result, right? The first one is that it's a string for the DB URL. And here's the value of the string. And as you can see, because it was not encrypted, the value comes back decrypted and the version is one. 
So that's perfect. We can see our database URL and use this. But for the password, it's a secure string. And here is the value of it, which is an encrypted value. So for this, you basically need to decrypt it. And for this, you have a special parameter. And it's called with decryption. So I'll do with decryption. And so this will check whether or not I have the KMS permission to decrypt this secret that was encrypted with the KMS tutorial key. So I'll press enter. And now this time for my secure string, the value has been decrypted because I specified the with decryption parameter. And so this is pretty cool because very, very quickly we're able to have encrypted values and people that can't access them because they don't have access to KMS that protects my password. But if I have access to KMS, I'll just provide one extra flag with decryption. And here we go, I get the value of my dev password. So it's really, really neat. The other thing we can do is do ABS SSM, get parameters by path. And let's go to the help. So the get parameters by path allows us to go through a path and we have to provide the path name and it has to start with a forward slash. So if we do get parameters by path, and I'm going to delete this, I'm just going to keep my app dev, and I'll say get parameters by path, and the path is going to be this, then this is going to query for all the parameters under this path. And this is why we have a tree structure. And what we get out of it, obviously, is the parameters we had from before. So what we could do now is go one level up to just my app, and do minus minus recursive to get all the parameters recursively under my app. Press enter and now we get our four parameters back, db password, db url, db password for prod and db url for prod. So using this tree structure, we're basically able to organize our uh, secrets and get them all at once, which is really neat. So that's it. You can also obviously provide the with decryption flag and get the decryption. So that's just for this CLI, but in the next lecture, I just want to show you how it works with ABS Lambda because it is very simple as well. So see you in the next lecture.